Durham region. This program is brought to you by Ignite TV. Now you're in command. Visit rogers.com for more details. Hello and welcome to another episode of A Little Bit Fit with me, Karen Ross. So before we get started today, we're just going to go through what we're going to need. We're going to need, as always, water. Always need water. You're going to need two chairs with no arms or see this thing right here, this cube thing? That'll do as well. So if you've got like a, an ottoman or whatever that's a little bit lower than your chair, that will work, but you just need two, a chair and something else. And you're going to need your weights boop, or, or soup cans or nothing at all. You can always do uh, the things that I do with weights without, okay? Uh, especially if you're feeling pain in your shoulders, or your elbows or your wrists or hands or whatever, don't use anything. Just do the range of motion only. But before we get to this stuff, we're going to talk about our fit tip of the day. And it is the power of water. What does she mean by that? Power of water like this? No, but there's a lot of power in water. The power of water, getting in the water, it's one of the best places to exercise, one of the best places to exercise. And you don't need to join an AquaFit class. Just find a friend with a pool and get in that pool. Um, go to a public swim, go to an adult swim get in the pool. You have between 60 and 90% less gravity. You can move your body in a bigger range of motion with a lot less pain. It helps relieve pain. It helps relieve swelling, all of that stuff. So when you surround yourself with water, it's a good thing. Hydrostatic pressure, Google that. Um, so get into the water and move get into the water and move. So let's grab our stuff and I will see you right there in two seconds. Here we go. Remember, you want to stay in your chair, stay in your chair. If you want to get up out of your chair, I'm going to get up out of my chair a little bit today. So get moving, get everything moving. Why do I always start with that sway? I don't know, but I like it. There we go. Whatever you want to do, if you want to do something completely different, by all means, we're just warming up here. Just get everything moving. Get the brain connected to the body so your brain understands and your body understands that we're going to work a little harder in about 30 seconds. Breathe. Heel tap. Tap, 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 tap. Do whatever you want to do with those arms. Nice, easy heel taps to start. Let's get our hips to go the other direction. So tap out to the side. That's one thing that we don't think about very much. We walk forward all day long, but we don't do any of this. This is very important for hip health. Front, front, side, side. Front, front, side, side. That's it, keep it going. You want to add arms? Add some arms. Whatever you want to do with your arms, just move them. Front taps, side taps. 
creep. That's it. Got some rocky guitar going on in there. <laughs> Breathe. Remember, if you want to get a little bit of cardio in every day, put on the music that you love and just move. Dance like nobody's watching. Tap and lean. I'm going to do this move in the chair. One, two, three, tap. Then I'm going to bring it out of the chair. One more on this side. Now I'm going to bring it out of the chair. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. Now I'm going to travel it toward you. One, two, three, tap. Now I'm going to travel it back. Remember our directions. You want to travel in different directions as much as possible. You make it small or you make it big. Whatever you like. March it out right here. Let's make that quicker. Just like we do in the chair. Take it back. Bring it forward. Take it back. Sit down if you need to. Stand up if you want to. Take it back. Forward. Take it back. Start getting fancy with those arms. Take it back. Reach and pull. All right, let's switch direction. We're going to go this way. So sidestep it. One, two, three, tap. Remember those directional changes. Or you can grapevine it. Step behind. Working your hips a little bit more. Whatever you like. Now I'm going to add my arms. Watch it out. Sit back down in your chair if you choose, or stay right here. Heel taps. Just like we do sitting down, you can do everything standing up to the side. Four more. Do the front. Four more. Four taps. One, two, three, four to the side. You can do this sitting down. Front. Side. All right. Bring it forward. Tap it back. Forward. Last time. To step tap. Mm -hmm. 
Sit back in your chair if you choose. I'm going to sit back down. And I'm going to continue my sway. We're going to bring it all the way down. Woo! Grab your water. Grab a couple sips, and I will see you back here in two seconds for our strength training. All right, cardio check. Now it's time to move on to our strength training. Remember, three components of physical fitness, cardio, strength, and stretching, three most important parts of physical fitness. So let's move on to our strength training. We're not going to use any weights for this one. We're going to work from here down, okay, by alternating heel toe raises. So one heel goes up as the other heel comes down. Toe comes up, heel comes up. So opposites. So not only are we working our brain, we're working our body, we're working physical connections, mental connections. We're working all of those muscles around our ankle joints, in the bottoms of our feet, and moving up into our shins and our calves, pretty much ending at our knees. Little bits happening here, but not too much. So alternating, doing the opposite, sometimes getting the opposites going is the hardest part. Breathe, sitting up tall. Breathe. That's it. Keep it going. Couple more. You want to do any exercise until it becomes difficult to do. And that way, you know, the muscles have had enough and it's time to let them rest. Breathe. Couple more. And shake that out. Nicely done. It's going to a couple more shakes. <sighs> do whatever it feels good. If it, you want to do this, do that. Just shake out all the tension you just built up around your ankles and in the bottoms of your feet and through your calves and your shins. We are going to grab our weights or you don't have to have any weights at all. Depends on whether you're feeling any pains in your shoulders, your hands, your elbows. If you are, don't use any weights at all. Just do range of motion. We're going to go to a compound movement. So we're going to start with a lat lift. So we're going to lift it. We're bringing it to the front. We're going to bend the elbow so our weights come to our shoulders. And now we're going to press. Bring it down. We'll do the reverse. Straighten those arms out to the side and back down. And notice how I do not lift my weights above my shoulders on that lat lift. My weights or my hands are below my shoulders. I bring it to my chest, chest height, shoulder width, bend my elbows, drop my elbows toward the floor, breathe out as I press up, breathe in as I come down, straighten. You're going to feel your core engage out to the side and down. We're going to do a few more. Lift, bring it to the front, bend your elbows, press up, bring it down, straighten the arms, take it back out to the side, and drop it down. Lift it, bring it to the front, bend the elbows, Press, always breathe out when you take your arms above your head. Out to the front. And bring it down and release that. Nicely done. Compound movements teach all of your muscles in your joints, ligaments, tendons, how to work as a team. It teaches your body how to work as a team because, again, you're attached. Everything is attached from the top of your head to the bottoms of your feet. So it's good to teach your body how to work that way. Breathe. A little bit more swinging it out here. All right, we're going to put one weight down. And we're going to turn sideways in the chair. If you want to come right out of your chair, you can. You can use your chair as a little weight bench. Very simply, you put your foot in between the two legs of your chair, and then you bring your knee. You're not going to put all of your weight in your knee. It's dispersed between your knee 
and the top of your foot. So we're going to do a tricep kickback, but I'm not even thinking about my arm yet. I want to make sure that this is okay first. And now I'm going to lean it over. I'm going to pull that to there. And now I'm just going to go ever so gently, straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. And when you straighten your arm, you're going to feel the back of your arm the top part, your tricep in the back of your arm, that's what's making this movement happen. Tightens right there and then release. We're gonna do one more. Release it, come up, step away from your chair and shake it out. You can do this sitting down as well. I will turn my chair for you. So I'm going to lean forward. This time I'm on my other arm, leaning forward. I'm pulling it up and I'm gonna kick it back. Make sure you don't hit the back of your chair. So either way, whatever works best for you. Breathe. Breathe out when you push that weight behind you. So breathe out, breathe in. Look down at the floor, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe in. We have three more to do, one, Two, last one, three, release it, and then swing it out. Nicely done. All right, let's put that down. We're going to turn our chair back to facing forward. These are alternating soccer kicks, and they're going to work your, your uh, insides of your legs. So come almost to the front of your chair, not quite because you don't want to fall off. So we're going to lift and kick, kick, kick. You don't want to kick across the body. Just kick like you're bringing the bottom of your foot to the inside of your leg. Lift, 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 lift. One more on each side. Lift, lift, and shake that out. Nicely done. So grab your water, have a sip, and I will see you right back here in two minutes for our so important stretch. All right, it is time to stretch it out. When your muscles contract a million times a day, you need to allow them time to stretch out so the blood can get in there to grow them, recuperate them, restore them, all of that stuff. So please take a little bit of time each and every day to do some stretching. All right, we're gonna start with our shoulder press downs. So you're gonna drop your arms down beside your chair. You're gonna pull your shoulders up towards your ears. Pull them up towards your ears, push them back, and now push them down. Push them down to the floor. Sit up nice and tall. Breathe, we're gonna do this several times. Now relax them, pull them up towards your ears, push them back and push them down toward the floor. Reach to the floor with your fingers if that helps. Push your shoulders down, back and down, sitting up nice and tall, breathe. We have two more to do, release the shoulders, pull them up, push them back and push them down to the floor. These are all the muscles that cause headaches. So stretching, they pinch your blood vessels and that's what causes the headaches. So if you're feeling a little headache or whatever, do some neck stretches, shoulder stretches, that may help. All right, one more time. 
lift them, roll them back, and then push them down. While we're here, we're going to tip our ear toward our shoulder. <laughs> That's opening up a lot on this side. Breathe. Always moving slowly and mindfully through the neck. Bring your head back to center. Let's do the other side. Just tipping your ear toward that shoulder and making the space over here really big. Keep pushing the shoulders down toward the floor. Look straight forward. You don't want to look up or down. Look straight forward. And bring that back to center. Nicely done. We're going to do our hip flexor, open the front of our hip and release that quad, stretch our quad. So turn sideways in your chair, hang on to your chair. This side of your body comes off of your chair. We're gonna lean forward and we're gonna reach behind. Remember, if you're having a hard time getting your leg behind you, put a cushion or two on the seat of your chair to raise you up a little bit so you can get that leg behind you a little easier. Breathe. And slowly, we're going to start bringing the upper body to tall as we bend the back knee. Keep your toes and the front of your foot pressed into the floor. I'm feeling a uh, stretch from my hip bone to the top of my leg and then down from the top of my leg into the top of my knee. That's your quadricep. It's four muscles that live in the front of your leg. Breathe. And we're going to hinge forward. Hang on to your chair. Bring your feet back together. Turn around the other side. Take your time moving in and out of your stretches. Hang on to your chair. And remember, if you have to make your seat higher to be able to get that leg behind you more effectively, put a few cushions on it going to adjust there we go all right and slowly lifting my torso bending my back knee the more you can get the knee behind the hip the bigger the stretch is going to be in the hip flexor from your hip bone to the top of your leg and into that quad in the front of that in the front of your leg breathe And we're going to hinge it forward. Always moving slowly. I'm hanging on to my chair, bringing my feet back to center. All right, we're going to do our cactus. I've pulled some stretches from yoga. We're going to reach up. And as we come down, we're going to sit tall and we're going to squeeze our shoulder blades together in our upper back. Drop your elbows down lower if you find this very uncomfortable if you're here. The higher up you are, the more uncomfortable it's going to be. The lower you bring your elbows, it's still going to be uncomfortable, but it's not going to be painful. You don't want it to be painful. And you want to squeeze your shoulder blades together and push your chest forward. Breathe. Full cactus right here. And reach it back up and bring it all the way down and just let your arms swing. Now, going back to that figure four, it's one of the most necessary stretches for hip health. It's also one of the recommended stretches for sciatica. So it's very important that you get familiar and comfortable with your figure four stretch. So bring your chair or your ottoman, whatever you've got going on, bring it in front of you. 
We're gonna lean back in our chair as we cross our leg up over top of whatever you have in front of you. Breathe. Let this leg relax. And then you're gonna sit up. If you feel enough of a stretch here, stay here to increase and go to the next part of the stretch. I bring my arms behind me and I'm gonna move my chest toward my crossed over leg and I'm gonna look down at the floor. Breathe. This is one of the most uncomfortable stretches, which means it's one of the most necessary. Breathe, come back up to tall. Cross it over the other side and come to tall and bring it forward. And as we go to our transition from stretching to recap, stay here and I will see you back up there in two seconds. Breathe. Well, there we have it. Another episode of A Little Bit Fit Complete. Celebrate your small victories. I know I tell you that all the time, but it's hard to believe in yourself. We're always so busy um, being proud of other people that we forget about ourselves. So it's time to be proud of yourself because you worked really, really hard. Let's recap our fit tip. The power of water. If you can, get into a pool, go to a public swim or an adult swim, get into the water. It is magic. It takes 60 to 90% of gravity away from your body so you can move it. You can move it. The hydrostatic pressure of the water helps relieve pain, especially if you have osteo or, or rheumatoid arthritis. Um, a lot of good things happen if you get in to the water. So don't be, you never have to go into the deep end if you don't want to. Um, get a noodle, get a noodle and just move your body, move your body. If you're in the water, just move your body, ride your water bicycle, pedal a little bit, move your arms, just get your muscles and your joints to move without gravity causing that pounding between your joints. Your spine actually gets longer while you're in the water for a little while because it decompresses all of the vertebrae. True story. So get in the water, use the magic of water to help heal your body and your mind. So take care, be well, and remember, the more you know, the more you can grow. Knowledge is power. See you next time. Response line. Email us or connect with us on social media.